Graduation signifies the beginning of a person's life. As one chapter ends, another begins. For me, university has been the prequel for my life. Every step I have taken has led me to this moment. My debut into the real world. Hey, congratulations, Chipmunk. We knew you could do it. <laughs> and it only took you four years. <laughs> Chipmunks don't even live that long. <laughs> Congrats, honey. <sighs> oh, the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. These are my parents. Love them, but not a frickin' chance I'm moving back into their empty nest. <laughs> okay, now pretend to throw your diploma away. Throw it! <laughs> okay, now pretend it's a cigar and smoke it. Dad! Come on, smoke it, that's it, come on. Come on, it's a cigar! No, do, um, Marilyn Monroe. Oh, yeah. <sighs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Okay, hey, let's head over to the edge of that hill. You can look out into the horizon into your bright new future. <laughs> this is it. After a lifetime of hard work, my life is about to begin. Ah! Oh. exactly go as planned. Rather than a fancy apartment and a wicked job, I'm back here, back in my hometown. Despite everything, I'm moving in with my parents. You know, <laughs> living the dream. Oh my god, did you hear about Sarah Barrington and Lee Jacobs? They got married, right? And apparently, she's six months pregnant. Wait, who? Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> Can we go? How are you? How long are you in town? Oh, only until I get a job, which, I don't know, should be until my mid 40s. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> What's new with you? Are you still the same guy? Who? Steve? Oh, god, no, no. He was like three guys ago. So, no, but the new guy, Jeremy? I think he's the real deal. Last week, he told me I was hotter than Kristen Stewart. Like, what a sweetheart. <laughs> Becca, this better not be some cheesy high school reunion. Surprise. Surprise! Welcome home. You're back. So much for higher education, eh? Welcome back. Cheers. Cheers! So, what are you doing now? Typical Rochelle, always making uncomfortable situations worse. Guys, I have something to say. It's been so long since we've all been able to get together. What a perfect chance to raise a glass to someone who's made us all proud. This person has worked so hard over the last four years. Finally, somebody gets it. I am so proud of you. Rebecca! Oh, crap. Congratulations on the new job. Thanks. What? Wait, what? Eddie, I got a job. I just found out that's why I was late picking you up. My professor, he hooked me up with a job. Can you believe it? Wow, that's great. And I'm moving out. As of next month, me and Jeremy are moving in together. I'm like, like an adult. <laughs> it's crazy. 
I was scared to tell you, you know, because your life's a little bit of a mess right now with no job, moving back in with your parents, and no boyfriend fiasco. Are you okay with this? Yes, no, this is great. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Cheers. Thank you. So what's next? Now what? What? I said what's next for you. Now what? You know, I think I'm gonna get another drink. Tequila, now. Actually, make that two. Hello? Dude, manners aren't going to kill you. Adriana? Oh my god, Scott, I can't believe that's <laughs> you. You look different. So, uh, what's with the tequila? Do you ever feel like everything's just falling apart? Like, six months ago, I thought for sure I'd land a great job and I'd be out in DC for the rest of my life. But now, I have no job, no car, and I live at home with my parents. I didn't expect to be such a failure. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. My life is a joke. That's not why I'm laughing. Did you know it takes about six months to build a Rolls Royce? And a Toyota, only 13 hours. What is that supposed to mean? Are you calling me a car? Are you calling me a cheap car? No, no, it's just a metaphor. Okay, let's try a different approach. See the guy in the corner over there checking himself out? That's Jordan. He's applied seven times to be the next bachelor. He's never heard back, but he's convinced that any day now, he's gonna get that call. And Beverly. She's now married with a kid. She's also regular, gets way too drunk, and she hits on me. Remember Joseph? He landed a job as, you know, actually I have no idea what he does, but he's now a suit attached to his phone. And over there, Orlando. He comes in here every Friday wearing his varsity football jacket. The guy works at a movie theater, just like he did in high school. And Michelle. She just moved back from the city after trying to make it as a musician. She's had to put her dreams on the back burner, but she works here part time and sings open mic on Saturdays. Life. We're all here, we're all trying to figure it out. I guess. We have our whole life to be adults. What's the rush? When you're human, you can make somebody so wise. Hey, Adriana, you ready for bar number two? Uh, not tonight, Beck. I'm exhausted. How about no? Fine. Stay here with four eyes. This is home. You know, you're gonna be okay, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm beginning to feel that way. I'll see you around? Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you around. If you told me in high school that this is where I'd be after graduating, I would have called you freaking nuts. Actually, I would have called you cray, but that's besides the point. The point is, this is my life now, and I think, just maybe, I'm gonna figure it out.
Seriously? Eventually. 